It's party time. Hey, yes. Haley, how you doing? I'm, I'm good. Let's get right into that sweet, sweet uh, beginning intro music. <laughs> Greetings. We welcome you to Papa Peck. I am Jaylene Clark Owens. This is Justin. <laughs> <laughs> he is my co host. <laughs> and together we are Papa Peg. This music you're listening to, the tunes, actually, let me put that on. These tunes are brought to you by Ill Dudes with their song Terabon from the play An Octoroon. It's from the soundtrack. An Octoroon is a play by Brandon Jacob Jenkins. And that is where Justin and I met for the first time. We began our shenanigans, and the shenanigans have continued and developed into Papa Pink. So we welcome you. Nice we one. That was a good one, Jay. <laughs> that was a good one. You know, you've had, you've had like seven times to try how to fill that, that whole intro. The thing is, everybody, like, uh, we have to play it in the background because technology hasn't caught up yet where we can play the the music and both of us talk on top of it. So anyway, bravo, Jaylee. Before we begin, there are some, uh, oh, go. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, welcome to our Papa Pink pajama party. party. Like, thank you. What, what kind of pajamas y'all got on? Let us know in the comments. We are all in our pajamas today. Jaylee. When I said that um, we were, I, I typed in the comments that we were um, at four minutes, four minutes till places in our forever stage manager, Miss Pat from the Wilma Theater said she is in her PJs and she's standing by. So I know she's here. I know she's ready. She is one of our loyal pink papas. Yes. To all our pink papas out there, those are our fans. We welcome you. We thank you. We hope you have your PJs. And Justin. Take it away. We have some thanks to give. Yeah, we would love to thank Theater Horizon, who has been sponsoring us these past few weeks. Uh, Nell Bong Jensen, Brian Butler with Brian Butler Media Relations, the entire staff every and supporters of Theater Horizon, James Imes. We want to give a shout out this episode to Stephanie Raquel with Anonymous Nails. Jalen Coates <laughs> with Anonymous Nails. Check out these Ooh. nails, honey. Get in Get closer. Get them closer. That pointer one, does that change color or is that a stripe? It's a stripe. Yes. And then let me see my, my thumb. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. And what I did was I told her, homegirl, I want you to match me to our colors. So the pink and the turquoise. Oh. So we got some of that. We got blue up in there. Like, she did that the darn thing, so true. that is a true artiste. Hit her up, hit her up, custom nails. Nice, and we also want to thank all of our followers and all of you working on the front lines from our nurses and doctors to you all who are still going into work and grocery stores, offices, wherever you're at. And we want to give out another shout out to our pank papas who usually watch us on uh, Instagram Live. Uh, so now we may have some new viewers out there, and we want to welcome you. Um, Jaylene and I, we are both Philadelphia-based theater actors and writers, teachers, artists, and I guess you could say friends. Could you say friends? Um, strong associates. Um, people who are in spaces at the same time a lot of times. Mm, we'll work on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. But as Jaylene said, we are in a pajama party. This is a very special episode. We are nice and cozy. Jaylene, show us and tell us what you're wearing. I am wearing some uh, pajamas. I got the matching shorts to go with it. You got um, like, you got a hint of Asian in there. Mm. Are there cranes in there? Are there cranes in there? Are there cranes? Are there beautiful cranes? Crane? 
Yes. Oh, that is luxurious. Sorry, I don't mean to make you just keep putting your body in front of the camera. I am wearing this hot pink t-shirt that Jaylene got me. But what I'm really excited about is my Orlando, Florida hoodie, which is also pink. But I've got like um these uh, Christmas, oh. Christmas pajamas on. <laughs> it don't gotta be Christmas to feel Christmas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hello. Hello. And they're Hello. penguins and penguin and pink. So it's like kind of the same. It's good. You know, it's good. alliteration. I'm also a poet, ladies and gentlemen. You're a, poet. You're a poet and a writer and an imaginer and a creative. That's what you that's go. really say. But there you um, go. we are doing a pajama party because this episode feels like when you used to have sleepovers with your besties. Why, Jaylene? Well, we have, because we have two special guests joining us for our sleepover, sure. and those two special guests are Akeem Davis and Taisha Marie Canales. <laughs> Marie Canales. Taisha, wait, wait, can we go this way? Taisha Marie Canales. <laughs> Akeem Davis. How about just a body roll, Akeem Davis? It goes, Akeem Davis. <laughs> Akeem Davis. Here we go. Uh, one more time. Here we go. I wasn't ready. Akeem, Akeem Davis. Davis. Okay, from the top. Here we go. Okay. It is. Wait, which way are you leading? Wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Wait, again. Here, 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 here we go. Here we go. Tasha, Marie, Canales, and Akeem Davis. I am sweating. That that's my cardio for the day. Oh, oh my goodness! All these all these pajamas came in. We got big T shirt with lounge pants. We got flannel and Star Wars jams, all of the nerd here. Yes, we have a sloth onesie that sounds onesie. very comfortable, EJ. Oh. Very, very comfortable. That has my heart. Now, Jalen, we would- and just a nice hello from my mother-in-law. So oh, just, her mom. Just wanted to share that. Happy <laughs> Pink wins, yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Paul, Paul. Okay. So, um, wait. We posted some things leading up to this episode, Jaylee. What did we post? We posted that time we all got engaged. I don't know if you saw, if you haven't seen it, go go right now to our Instagram page. You can find the, it, it's over there. There's our Instagram name right up there, Papa Pank. Oh. Uh, and then you might have saw us in a hot tub, the four of us. Taisha Marie Canales, Anna Keen Davis, and Justin Jane, and Jaylene Clark Owens. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell you why we were all in a hot tub together. We'll just yeah. let you go and look at the episode. Let it be known that that is one of my most favorite memories of, of my life, I must say. That whole, and I, ah, uh, I learned some things about that memory today that I can't share on air, but, um, let it just be known that the Wilma Hot House <laughs> and our friends and associates really know how to party. Yes, we do. We were well. We'll tell you about the hot tub later. Okay, I think it's time. Oh, I, 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 I Pepto Wilma. <laughs> Wait, go, go. Yeah. Thank you for stealing my joke. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Just I, didn't read the I didn't see you put that I in. Didn't put it. I didn't put it down. I wanted to be spontaneous in the moment and make you laugh, but he's too quick, ladies and gentlemen. Can't trick okay. a trickster. Are you ready for our song? Yes. <laughs> Get your glass so we can clank. It's time for that. Papa drank. Papa drank. Papa drank. Papa drank. Papa drank. And, and cheers. And. and Cheers. Cheers. And Mary, Mary, Girl, what are you drinking? I was gonna say, since you know we wanted to be on theme with pink, I decided to get a pink drink and drink some Pepto Bismol. But I guess it's not as funny now since Justin already said it. So 
or like strawberry yoohoo or like crushed up uh gas x it's over the, the 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 bit is over so what i am drinking um it is pink see david diggs he came with a pink drink and now i'm just like obsessed with oh, trying to pink drink. i am drinking Bailey's Red Velvet. Everybody, I just need to pause right here and talk <laughs> about this woman and her flavor Bailey's. <laughs> if, if there's a flavor of Bailey's out there, you look at her liquor cabinet, it's all Bailey's, different flavors. <laughs> and stocked five bottles deep. If you want a glass of whiskey, you got to go down the street. No, I have whiskey. I like whiskey. I actually, thanks to Tasha and Akeem. But can I talk about um, just really quickly um, pumpkin spice Bailey's? What, what do you want to say about pumpkin spice? The pronunciation of A U T U M N A L. A U T U M N A L. Did I put it up on the screen? I, I, I don't even know if I'm spelling it right, to be honest. Probably not. But a lot of us say autumnal. But what do you say, Jaylene? Wait, here we go. Is this it? Yes. Autumnal. That is simply the word autumnal. <laughs> <laughs> and we found this out because she is raving about pumpkin spice. <laughs> and then she's like, it's so autumnal. And every it was a record scratch, record scratch. <laughs> Everybody in the room went, huh? He has autumn and all. <laughs> to be fair, I did look at it and get confused for a second. I was like, how would you say this? And then I, but what came out was autumn all, because I'm thinking autumn, okay, autumn is the autumn. word. So why would it not be autumn and all? But that's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I call it autumn and all. Anyway, I'm drinking, this is a Stolio and tonic because- um, Stolio? Yeah, Stoli Orange. In college, when we used to have sleepovers, I would drink Stoli, Stoli Orange and Sprite, but I'm grown up now, so Stolio and tonic. Yeah. I haven't, I don't drink vodka, so we'll see what happens. Um, um, Pang Papas, what are y'all drinking? Type what it. Drinking? Even if it's just water or- Thank um, you, Tasia. thank you. you is good. I am not dissing the Baileys at all. Thank you. Thank you. Rum chata is good. Rum chata. Mm. Um, thank you, Erlina. <laughs> exactly. They get, it. they get it. I know you don't need to, you don't need to get everybody up in here. Everybody's going to get up in here. Everybody's going to get up in here. Yes. Water. Mother drinking water. That's, that's quite all right. You um, know, that we, we, we appreciate Tequila ro Rose. Rose? Tequila Rose. <laughs> That's a thing? I think it's Tequila Rose. Oh, okay. Or okay. Tequila Rose. It but sounds pink, though, so that's awesome. Ooh, we got folks is up in here. <laughs> we are drinking. 9 p.m. on a Wednesday, hump day. Cuba Libre. Ah, ah. Ah, <laughs> these Papa drinks are popping. Well, we are. thank you for for having a drink with us. And uh, before uh, we bring our our guests in, um, let us just talk about uh, what has us tickle pank this week. All right, Justin, you want to go first? I would love to go first. I mm -hmm. watch Trolls World Tour. It's a kids movie. If you haven't seen Trolls One, and it has like. Um, oh God, I'm blanking on all their names. Justin Timberlake and some other people in it. It's okay. actually pretty good. Uh, and uh, what I've been noticing in like kids movies these days, and you all have been noticing this out there, is like they're all shifting to like this new narrative of like the protagonist realizing that they have been the oppressor all along. And then they try to like fix it over the course of the kids movie. It's okay. a new genre. It's a new genre and I approve. Thank you out there for um, teaching the kids. Let them lead the way. Um, <laughs> oh, maybe they possess inside. Great. <laughs> um, so, okay. And uh, my cousin Irene has her band, a new album, self-titled album, 
called Patayo, and that's the name of the group. And they are an all women, queer, Philippine ex, lo fi, R and B, gong, punk, funk band. Now, if that's a, if that's a, if you don't even know what that sounds like, you haven't heard it before. So go to follow them on Instagram, get their stuff on. All, wherever you get your music, it's really good. I cannot recommend it enough. And How do I say it? Pantano? Pan, panta, how do I say it? Pantayo. Pantayo. It actually means Tagalog. It's Filipino Tagalog, for, which means for us. Me and it's queer forward. It's world music. It's synth. It's hip hop. It's everything. So check it. What about you? Why don't you tackle Pank? All right, what's have me tickle pink? I'm, I'm gonna be real quick because I know everybody's itching for, for where, our guests. Where's Tasha? Where's the team? Where's Tasha? Something at the bit. I, 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 I've even seen somebody say something. They, there we go. She, she waiting. She waiting. So we, we, I'm gonna hurry y'all up. I'm gonna hurry you on up. Okay, so what has me tickle pink this past week watching versus um, with Erica Badu and Jill Scott? When I tell you, I love me some Jill Scott. Jilly from Philly. Um, I really love Jill Scott. And I also love Erica Badu, but I like know Jill Scott's work more. Um, I, like I've listened to most of her CDs on repeat. Um, and so this, it was just an amazing experience. Like I really loved it. Um, they did talk a lot, but I was here for it. Like I was here for the talking. Um, and the music was just great. And it was just a wonderful experience. My husband and I watched it together. We were keeping score, seeing who, who determining who we thought was the winner. The winner, we were all winners, um, cause it was a great night. Um, <laughs> so that had me tickle pay. And what else? Oh, Hamilton, <gasps> the original cast. I am so sure. Include our uh, friend of the show, David Diggs, uh, is coming to Disney Plus on July 3rd. I am super excited and tickled to Hank about that. We should have a watching party. Jalen, can we have a watching party? Maybe, maybe? Maybe. Now I'm supposed to be technically in the Virgin Islands when that comes up. So, you know, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what, what, what the state of the world is and whether I am in Virgin well, Islands. There's good things waiting for you here and there's good things waiting for you there. And for those of you out there that don't know, Davi Diggs was on this show, Papa Pank, just two weeks ago. And if you mm -hmm. want to uh, catch that episode, follow us on uh, YouTube and go and watch that episode there. We'll post that about that at the end. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right on She's on on it. She All right, ladies and gentlemen. The time you've been waiting for. The moment you've been waiting for. That is a Hamilton reference. It's time to make this pajama party a real party because we are now in our segment, Pop In with Papa Pink. 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 Did you practice? What? <laughs> Here we go. If you're ready, let me see those applause in the comments. Let me see the drum roll. Let me see all the love and the hearts and the everything because we are now bringing in our special guest. All around. <laughs> oh my ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. Let me get that off of my face. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, here we go. Hi, Tasha and Akeem. Let's What's introduce up? them. You want to introduce them, Jaylene? Oh my gosh, I would love. Actually, let me let me put up their names. <laughs> there they are. There they are. <laughs> there, there, there are their names. Oh. Okay, so Where? now that their names are up, <clears throat> <clears throat> we have a long we have long bios to read, everybody. So, their name is gone. Would you say? Their name is not, but we'll put it back. We'll put it we'll, back. We'll put it back. We want to be able to really see your faces. Um, okay. I'm, I had to warm up to read the bio. I had to make sure. <laughs> my mom was ready for all these words. Matter of fact, yeah. no, Justin, I think you should go first. Now, now let's let's be clear. You'll find this out in the bio, but um, today is kind of a New York City versus Florida kind of yes, thing. It is. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. it is. Yep. Justin, you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I was born. Okay, ready. I'm a Florida so, man. There it is. So 
Florida man today. Florida man today. Okay. Okay. Florida, go ahead and introduce your Florida. Do a little Florida okay. bio. Okay. Okay. Just be known. We asked them to send us a brief bio. Bio. Brief. 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 And instead, they sent us two long individual bios. No. no. <laughs> uh, okay. So. Hey, that's the abridged version. Exactly. <laughs> Everything ain't on those files. Right, miles. right. When you, hey, when you're doing work, the, the pages get short. <laughs> <laughs> you just let you know. When you're putting in work, the pages get real short. I want to introduce my friend, Akeem Davis, who is from Miami, Florida, and a proud Philadelphia-based actor since 2011. His regional credits include Art and Theater Company, where he did A Doll's House and Gem of the Ocean, Woolly yeah. Mammoth Theater Company, The Arsonists, where uh, Folger Theater, where he did District Merchants, he had the Hayes nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Play, and he did King John, People's Light, he did All My Sons at Theater Horizon, he did Lobby Hero and In the Blood at Interact Theater, he did The Dangerous House of Pretty Mbane and Marcus mm -hmm. Emma at Theater Exile, he did Buzzer at Philadelphia Shakespeare Company, he did Henry V and Romeo and Juliet. <sighs> Theater Sympathy. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Side, he is a Helen Hayes and Barrymore Award nominated actor, as well as the recipient of the 2015 F. Otto Haas Award for Emerging Philadelphia Theater Artist. Akeem is a proud man of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Inc. and a proud <laughs> And a, and a proud alum of, of Norland Middle School. Let me, let me say this, Justin, that was good. That was good. Shout out to Miss Roll, who is in the building, my middle school science <laughs> teacher. Norland Middle in the building. Huskies go. Huskies go, baby. We love yeah. you, Miss Roll. Thank you for teaching them and letting them lead the way. <laughs> And with that bio, that's the end of our show. We have no more time. We're out of time. Hey, Jaylee, why don't you introduce Taisha? I New York in the building. Hello. What? Yes. 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 Here we go. Okay. Taisha Marie Canales is a New Yorker from the Bronx, New York. Hey, hey. And has been a Philadelphia. Oh, I gotta do it, bro. New York. I gotta do it, bro. New York. And has been a Philadelphia-based actor since 2011. Like, feel me? Like all facts. Her Did regional credits that? include get into these regional credits, y'all. Dance Nation, Bear, Dionysus was such a nice man. Romeo <laughs> and Juliet. Those was all at the Wilma Theater. The mm -hmm. Wilma Theater. <clears throat> a Midsummer Night's Dream and The Jungle Book. That was all at the Auden Theater, okay? Mm -hmm. Shakespeare in Love, All My Sons. That's people fight. Mm -hmm. Right? Don't make me fight. All right, we're not there yet. You we not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. Right. Moon Cave, that was at Azuka Theater. Azucar. That, that's not <laughs> Okay, I just put that spin on it. It's a <laughs> uh, the most spectacularly lamentable trial of Ms. Martha Washington. Mm -hmm. Black you was in there. You was in there. You was in there. I was up in there. I'll talk yeah. about that. Yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. We we everything. We not done yet. Here you go. Here you go. In 2021, okay, 2021. She will be working on Fat Ham by James Imes, friend of the podcast at the Wilma Theater. Tasha is the 2018 F. Otto Haas Emerging Philadelphia Theater Artist recipient. So y'all did, if y'all was listening, if y'all was listening, they both won that award, okay? They both won. I said both. That's a power couple right there. But we get to that later. Okay, y'all making me sweat. All right, she is also a Wilma Hot House Company member. <laughs> Hot House in the building. And it is. Hello. I'm sweating. Okay. What else? She got a BFA in acting from Arcadia University. Shout out, Arcadia. Because she's educated in these streets. Um, And so finally... Akeem and Tasha are engaged to be married this September. Yeah, 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 Hello. Yeah. <laughs> and she would like me to shout out 
excuse me, excuse me. Let me let me get this right. Shout out to the Canales family and the Davis family who are both watching, and I know they watching. They up in here. BS. <laughs> all right, thank you, everybody. That's all the time we have. Thank you for having us. It was fun. It was great. I was just a plug. The 2019 F. Otto Haas Emerging Philadelphia Theater Artist Recipient this is way. right here. Yeah, up. Uh, right, yeah, right. The yeah. three time nominated F. Otto Haas Emerging <laughs> Philadelphia right, Theater right, right, right. Number one. That's not what we're talking about, though. That's not what we're talking about, though. That's we Big Justin know. right there. That's Big Justin. <laughs> That's mate. I'm with that. I'm with that, Justin. <laughs> hey, you a winner to me. You a winner to me, bro. The Canales family is in the oh, hill. Castle Hill. Yes. This is cool. cool. You make me hot. Okay. I am sweating. I'm me sweating. Me too. Just All right. Are you, what? Are you in pajamas? Yup. I'm and look what I'm wearing. <laughs> oh, you came ready. You, you came tatted. I'm with that. <laughs> I need a little lipstick refresh. Oh I, have a, I have pop of pink on my um, oh my mama, but this pop of pink. Yeah. Oh, hello, hello. Yes. I'm wearing a tie. I don't know if you can see it. I'm wearing a yeah. tie. I love tie it. on your pajamas. Classic. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Oh I got God. I got some important I got some important stuff to handle in my dreams. You know what I'm saying? I I get I get suited up. So I can take care of business even when I'm asleep. That he don't stop. Don't stop. Can't stop. Resume too long. Can't stop. <laughs> As we heard. As we heard previously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, are you, what are you both drinking tonight? Yes. What's your pop of drink? Okay. So I tried to keep it real New York, right? So I'm drinking hen, right? The Hennessy. I was going to do a hen and coke. But, you know, we're trying to work on this wedding bod, so I'm going to omit those calories, and I'm just going to take the take the hint. All right. Akeem, what are you drinking? Uh, this is the best martini I've ever made. But um, but also, I'm going to call it a quarantini from now on. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We've been watching. You know, uh, last week, because we are regular sub uh, subscribers, we tune in. Y'all the pink poppers. Y'all part of our pink poppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah. And and uh, the the last week, David was saying that he was watching. He was catching up with with the Bond, the the Daniel Craig James Bond movies. Yeah. He bit that from us. We was doing that. He asked us what we were. Looking for. We told him that we was watching Casino Royale, and in Casino Royale, <laughs> Bond orders a particular martini. I've been making it. I'm I, I I'm killing it. Next time y'all come over, I'm gonna make that for y'all. Tasha don't really drink vodka I like that. It. Nope. So yeah, no. I'm making it for myself right now. But we we got y'all. I heard you introduced David to Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> I really honestly, I really don't want, like to talk about that because it's because <laughs> because but. Manuel was about to call. I call him by his last. I, I call him by by his middle name. Manuel. Yeah, was about, yeah he was, he was about to call it Alexander, and I was like, no, bro, that's that's Hamilton, right? Yeah. And, uh, and then boys cut me out. They cut me out of it, and, uh, and I don't really like about that. Though. That's what a lot of people don't know about showbiz. There's always somebody else. Yeah. I'm the yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was first. Well, it's, somebody, it's, it's, somebody, it's somebody in the background you don't know. The name you don't know made it happen. <laughs> well, speaking of meeting and whatnot, we always like to ask our guests, how did you meet us? Since there are four of us here today, mm -hmm. we'll just do, Tasha and I will share how we met one another, and Akeem and Justin will share how they Ooh, met. Okay, Tasha, yeah. how did you meet Jaylene? And what were your first impressions? I met <laughs> <laughs> I met Jaylene um, on a show. Actually, we were doing um, Marcus or the Secret of Sweet at Plays and Players, mm -hmm. and um, 
We met doing that show. She played my mom. <laughs> she never, never a bride. <laughs> my mom <laughs> in that show, which, you know, is what it is. Um, but we didn't really talk much during the rehearsal process. Um, it really wasn't until we were um, paired together to share a dressing room. Everyone had their own dressing rooms except for us. Mm -hmm. um, and in that time, we found out that we were both from New York and that was it. That was, that it. was it. That was 2013. So our friendship's been strong for seven years. Wow. Mm -hmm. your, uh, no, Jaylene, you go. What, what was, how did you meet Tasha, and what were your first impressions? Yes, as she said, we met during Marcus of the Secret of Sweet. I remember the day when we had when we had our first rehearsal, and she walked in and she had a little bag that said Jamaica all over it. Ah. And so listening I had, to her, I got married in Jamaica, so I I bought a bag while I was out there. That's right. So yes, yeah, so I see the Jamaica bag, and I'm listening to her talk, and I'm like. She got an accent. And so I was like, well, maybe it's just a softened Jamaican accent. So maybe she's Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> what I had been hearing, okay, was the New York City mixed with the Puerto Rican, the New York, what I was hearing was the New York accent. Right, right. And because I saw Jamaica, it just made me think Jamaica, but that, that wasn't it. <laughs> my mom was just trying to put pieces together. Um, but as Tasha said, yes, we bonded really when we were placed in that same dressing room. God knew what he was doing. Um, and uh, basically the same age. And I'm like, <laughs> right. Right. We were like, how did we even meet in New York? Because like we were in New York at the same time. Um, we 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 bonded over we 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 were in oh, the basement, y'all. That bit the oh, God right. bless them, but that the plays and players um rehearsal space and performance space was in um in that the building. Is the, what's the name of that building? Plays and players. It's just, just called plays and players theater. Yeah, yeah. The, the basement, you know, it, it needed a little love. Um, but we were down up in there and we had a little pet. We, we did we had a little pet um named Pete. Yeah. Pete. And Tasha, I just found this out. Pete is called a drain fly. That's oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. So we had a Pete yeah. would be down there, and you know, we would see him. Yeah. We would say hello. And now, every time I see a Pete in nature, I don't kill it because I'm like, that's Pete. that's Pete. That's Pete. Or she draw Pete and leave it all around my dressing room or my my ring box. She would draw a pee and put it in my shoes at the National Constitution <laughs> Center. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Should we even bring in Tom Ato into this? Don't, don't no. talk about Tom. We won't, we won't bring in Tom Ato. Because I actually don't know if, if I can recall this, but Akeem, when did you first meet me and what were your first impressions of me? I mean, honestly, you know, when I got to the city in 2011, Justin, let me let's keep it real. The project that Tasha and I met on as young uh beginning artists, folks like James and Justin workshop, they weren't even they they had done the work before that. And so and so when I met Jake, when I met Justin, it was like, oh, how you doing, sir? In in the NCC, walking, walking in the building, like, how you doing, uh real artist? Uh, uh, hey. And What's so, the NCC for those that don't know? It's the National Constitution Center. So that's where that's where we <laughs> both had our first professional gigs. Yep. That's where we met. And then, uh, but Justin, so I'm saying that the first time we really connected was doing the Tempest for Shakespeare and Clark Park. All right. What was that, like 2014 wow. or 20, 2013? 24 years ago. Yeah, I think you're right. About wow. 24 years wow. ago. So that was then. That was then. I've since had the pleasure of going into auditions uh, across from Justin and him being so good that everybody else wanted to leave because it was Justin's role, you know, but, uh, but I'm glad uh, that my, my Florida guy is, is, is thriving. Um, Berserker's residence, hilarious. Uh, so 
So I I I met Justin, I would say at on the Tempest project. Oh, oh great. So what's your first impression? Oh my my first impression of, of Akeem. So yeah, I think we met first at the NCC. I had trouble thinking of that. I was like, was it at the NCC or was it that at People's Light when uh when we were all doing Whoa. that workshop, or was it uh I don't know. But I think I really got to know you. I, I think during the NCC um, uh, gig. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I, I don't remember and what were your first impressions. I thought he this. I was like, this is a party guy. Like this is a party guy. And like <laughs> when you get to know Akeem, it's like you learn like in the second sentence that he's a fraternity brother. And then I'm like, oh, boom, there it is. There, hoop, there it is. Party guy, he liked to have a good time. But also, I never told you this, Akeem, but you remind me a lot of my dad. You have like the same qualities as my dad. Like he's always a jokester and then serious when he, he wants to be. But most of the time it's like, life is a party keep partying <laughs> <laughs> is that is that crazy coming from justin though <laughs> it's wild. I, i'll take it i mean a party guy knows a party guy let me say something let me let me say something let me say something what's that mabuhai mabuhai yeah. that is the filipino tagalog equivalent of like to life or lachayam or mazel tov all of those things you never taught me that so we want to move on because we wanted to really show our audiences who you oh are. yes let me get that ready okay so while, while jaylene gets this ready and then we have a bunch of questions for you too but we wanted to show um our audiences like clips of your work and to show them like who you are so um we listed all of your accolades but we really oh my God. <laughs> Ready? this is her right, here and the wilma's romeo and juliet me stabbing me there she is. Kissing, all the kissing. Yeah, being out. Don't mean that. Lindsay's smiling. Oh, shout out to Fryer. You got There's that puppy drink. Puppy drink. Puppy <laughs> drink. Another puppy drink. Oh, my God. Yes. So while Jaylene pulls up yours, Akeem, Tasha, what was that show like for you? Uh, you know, it was great. It was tough though. Juliet is tough. Mm -hmm. Um, so because she she goes through so much uh, throughout the throughout the course of that play, so it was a lot to carry and sort of have sit with me mm -hmm. during the course of that. Um, play, but it was amazing to get to play her. I played her in um, high school, actually. Oh, nice. I didn't yeah. actually yeah. Didn't know that. Whoa, well, word. Yeah. I went to Talent Unlimited, TU, mm -hmm. um, and um, I played Juliet then, um, but it was great to and then you just roll in a professional capacity. And then <laughs> you just played, thank you, Gabriella. Love that performance. Um, you just played Juliet and Romeo again in the last show before everything got shut down, right? Yeah, that's right, in Shakespeare in Love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were in that, but, too. I was in that, too. Tasha and I have done a lot of shows together, everybody, in case you don't you know. Played, you, you played the Tybalt role in that as well, kind of. Yep, the same exact, like... Oh, I guess so. That's right. That's right. Um, <laughs> so we have to play something from Akeem. Do we right. have to? Yeah, what you, you got? What you got? We don't have to. Oh, we love you, Akeem. Let's, let's we love you. This is very more award-winning, Akeem Davis. <laughs> yes. Are we ready? Yeah. Let's no, go. no, we're not ready. We're ready. Okay. We, oh, we're gonna go. get ready. How you doing? Oh! I have what? been. That's crazy. Uh, this past time I was a care counselor. I'm currently a uh, an RA in Kellam Hall, and I currently serve oh. as of Florida State's Black Student Union. Excellent work. He's celebrating 40 years of diversity and progression on Florida State's campus. 
and I am supporting Courtney. Very more award winning. Wow, that's like that's like that's circle great. 2008. <laughs> counselor, everybody, did you catch that? I hope you caught it up there. A counselor, an RA, and the treasurer of his yeah. uh, of, of, of the Black Student Union. Let, listen, let me let me say this. All right. That's great. Shout out, <laughs> shout out to my special Rabbi Atu Bari, who was the president of the Black Student Union. But That's but, my but I, I got it in in college. We founded a political party. I was a care counselor, I was an orientation That's leader. Great. I was an RA. I I I I got it in. Uh, I was Mr. BSU. Uh, you know, did a monologue from The Dutchman by Amiri Baraka. Read it if you ain't never read it. You know what I'm saying? I I I got it in. You know, uh, and that was a, that was an Africa pendant <laughs> hanging on my chest, and that was an LRG shirt. Shout out to 2008, boy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you crossed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Akeem, Akeem Davis is a phenomenal, phenomenal actor. Uh, you know, back before. Yeah, you got anything else? What'd you say? That's how we <laughs> it was all, we were all just trying to lead up to Akeem's video. Did my, I do have a question, Akeem. Did that person that you were endorsing, did they get elected? Yeah, they did. Insight kind of had a stronghold on the political system there. So, so Courtney got elected, but she probably didn't need my endorsement by the time mm. I no, it came out. Well, I can't wait for when you run for actual office and you, when you are hitting the streets in Philadelphia or in this country. You're going to have to wait, brother. You're going to have to wait. That's not happening. That's not happening. I'm not made for public office. If it, if it did, it would have me tickled pink. Now, speaking of tickled pink, uh, we did that segment called Tickle Pank earlier. So we just want to know what has you all tickled Pank these days? What What are some things that are bringing you joy or happiness or anything like that? Any good feeling? Uh, the one thing, this might be embarrassing to share. Oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Let's make a deal. Oh, okay. With Wayne Brady. I, I didn't know. Ain't nothing to be embarrassed about. Let's make a deal at 10 a.m. in the morning. Make my coffee. Prepare for Wayne Brady. Yes. That has been the thing that's given me just joy. That has her tickled pink. A key tickled pink. We uh we found that on uh this late night channel, Boomerang Ooh. plays Looney Tunes. They play like cartoons <laughs> late night. And so sometimes we fall asleep to like, you know, Tom and hey, hey, is that Tom ever gonna catch that Jerry? I mean, <laughs> never, never. I mean, and, and what and what and what does Acme not do? They make everything, <laughs> you know. And so, so we watch that, and I'll be like, oh, great, great, great. <laughs> But Kim, when I moved up here, because we don't have, we didn't have Acme down in we Florida. Had Acme. Albertsons. You had Albertsons. Of course, but we did more when Dixie and Publix. I had Publix. Yeah, yeah, we did Publix. Where shopping is a pleasure, straight up. Shout out to Publix out there. Shout out to Publix. My brother used to work there. Yeah, but when yeah. I came up north and I saw an Acme, I was like, something's up. <laughs> it's got to be fake. It's, it's fake. fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looney Tunes and Acme, nope. Yeah, well, yeah. If you open some tomatoes, there's gonna be a fake bomb in there, right? Tasha, what we got? Associated C Town. They make good cola and grape soda. C Town. There, okay. C Town is expensive. X Depot. Y'all really going back and forth? Public should beat all of that. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Have you ever shot, Jaylene? Have you ever shopped at a Publix? Yeah, shout out to my mother-in-law who is watching. She lives in Florida now, so. I yeah. have been to Publix. I have been to Winn Dixie. Um, Publix, Publix has a good pineapple. Publix is better than Winn Dixie. I'm gonna say that. Also has great sushi. Publix got great everything. You ever had a Publix, Publix sub? Got good stuff. Yep. Mm -mm. Oh. The bread at Publix is good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll all take a trip down one day. Hopefully, hopefully. We'll all take a trip down. Listen, can I say this? Can I say this? Yeah. yeah. Now, we don't bought it in, right? J uh -huh. Jaylene is married to to uh, one of our favorite people, and uh, and and he has his, his mother is in Florida, right? Justin is from Florida. I have been saying I'm from Florida. I have been saying we need to do some Florida time. 
I got some okay. uh, I got some time with with Jake Blauk and Sophia Barry. Sophia's from Fort Lauderdale. You know, we linked up with Mateo and Lee. They came, yeah, they were yeah, in Florida yeah. this past Christmas. And um Florida, Florida is, is amazing. We should do some time in Florida. We can go all the way. We can go all the way from up here down to here. That's right, because you're from Florida, right? What? You're Central Florida, right? Central Florida. Okay, yeah, so the yeah. other side, my other side is Orlando. Oh my, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's great. Listen, uh, we okay. have this show now. So our trip to Florida, that's about to be a business expense, okay? I'm with that. I'm with that. That's a for sure write off. Somebody out there watching will sponsor this ABC, NBC, CBS, and uh, and just pay for everything and follow us with the camera. You won't. UPN, UPN will, will do it. <laughs> CW, as is also. Yeah, yeah. You'll play the reruns. UPN will play the reruns. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I've got some serious questions for you. Uh, how did you two get into acting, and what advice do you have for young actors out there? Straight up, straight up. Go ahead, baby. Oh. Start that off. Lead that off. Okay. How did I get into acting? Acting was um something I was always interested in when I was younger, and um I Justin knows this story now. Uh, but when I was in fifth grade, The Matrix had came out, and um, it was like on HBO, um, and uh, the credits were rolling, and I was in the living room. Uh, reenacting that first scene where Trinity just like kicks all those agents asses on her own. Sure. And then I had a moment, I'm for real, for real. I had a moment where I just heard this voice inside of me that said, this is what you're going to do. What this is, is what you're going to do for your life. What did it sound like? Oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know, but it was just a thing. <laughs> it was just a thing. I'm so and, um, but like my family like supported me. So, right, my mom helped me get into a, a performing arts middle school. Well, a, a middle school that had a performing arts program. Mm -hmm. And I ended up, um, they ended up putting me in the gifted class instead of like the arts class. Um, and so I didn't get to do much in middle school, but then I went to a performing arts high school. Um, and that's where I fell in love with theater and decided that that's what I want to pursue for the rest of my life. And so, from there, I, I went to Arcadia University and got my BFA in acting, um, and I've been doing it since. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aw, my your niece, aunt, your your niece is, is, is saying night to you. Aw, that's my niece and nephew. Akeem, how'd you get, how'd you get into how'd how'd you get get acting? acting? And advice. Man, I was a, a rambunctious young fellow, and um, I, I shout out to Mister. Teresa Newton, who was a teacher at my elementary school, but also a, a member of my church. And I'm like six or eight, whatever it is. And, uh, you know, I, I was talkative and, and a busy body a bit. And so she told me one day, you either you can you can get detention and I call your parents or you can audition for the speech contest. And and uh, at my elementary school, Norland, Norland Elementary at the time. They had this uh, oratorical contest, and um, I guess it was a great way to like drive literacy skills for young black kids. And Theodore L. Gibson oratorical contest. I wish I still had that shirt, but I did this poem <laughs> called uh, "Be a Man, Boy, Be a Man." Yes, and, poem. And um, and they told me, you know, you focus on it was a cafe, it was a it was a cafetorium or, or uh, whatever the combo of the cafeteria mm -hmm. and the auditorium. And they say, you stand on the stage, you learn your lines. So I said, okay, I can do that. So I learned my lines. And they say, you focus above the crowd and you speak to the clock. And I say, okay, I got my focal point and I got really, really far. And they said, speak loud. And so mm -hmm. I got really, really far. And so my first reason for doing theater was, um, was the congratulatory aspect. That's People right. clap, you know, it was something I was good at. People clap and then, but then, I stuck with it. So I've been in a, uh, I was in a drama magnet program from like that moment on. So I was in a, I was in an elementary school magnet program. I was a junior thespian in middle school. I was a thespian in, in, in high school. I went to a BFA program since then. And my, my passion for it and my, and, and like my understanding of less performance 
and more dramatic interpretation it, that started to shift. And so, I, but I've been doing this since I was real, real young. I played Baby Jesus like 15 <laughs> times, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, yes. you know, uh, so, so yeah. So, what's some <laughs> quick advice? So, Tasha and then Akeem, what's some quick advice you have for the young actors watching out there? Uh, it's, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of hard work and you got to love it. Um, and don't get discouraged. There's so many, there's so many more no's than there are yeses. Right. Um, but if you know that that is what you're like, you're an artist, like that you were born to be an artist, keep pushing. Um, also, I mean, like you might have an idea of what your, what that dream looks like, what being an artist, what the type of artist you want to be looks like and things happen in life that just shift you into different like avenues and whatnot. So like I, like my dream was to be living in a penthouse apartment in Manhattan and, you know, Starbucks, right, right downstairs. I grab my coffee. I take a cab to my rehearsal space mm. on Broadway. But it's been nine years now that I've been in Philadelphia making a career for myself. And, and I never imagined myself living anywhere else other than New York. Um, mm. So things do change, um, and, and your dream might just take take shape in different ways. But to uh, just keep pursuing and keep going for it. Word. What about you, Akeem? Too much time, too much energy is wasted on being good. You know, be be honest, be vulnerable, be truthful, be 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 uh, dogmatic, be be tenacious, be focused. And um and 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 I think those mm. things unlock the the craft for you much more than trying to be impressive and trying to be liked, you know. And so mm. that's where I found my liberation in my work is 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 really leaving alone the concern for how good I can be and really trying to burrow into the notion of man, if I if I can be as honest as I possibly can, mm -hmm. um, and and as and as open and vulnerable. And that doesn't mean doesn't mean weak. Vulnerability doesn't mean weak. Vulnerability means circumstantial, you know. I, and so, so I, you know, that, that that that's what I would tell a young artist. And and also, uh, wear a mask, you know what I'm saying? And, and wear some gloves right now. Who who knows what's floating in the air? Listen, that that is a that is great advice. So <clears throat> we have a few games that we want to play. So. I wanna, I wanna make I'm sure we get you know. So I'm gonna just ask. Why am I, why am I echoing? Okay, I'm gonna just ask one more question. And that's I like your just, nails. Thank you. Show your nails, by the way. I know she did such a good job. Who is that? Whose nails are those? Yep. Um, our girl Stephanie. That's yep. That's she did mine. Instagram. She did mine too. She did mine She's too. Awesome. She's uh in Northeast Philly. And she's the bomb. These are press ons, and press they're good, on, honey. Yeah. Anyway. So here's my here's my question before, because I really want to get to the to at least one of our games. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So my question is: So y'all are about to get married. If your wedding was a movie, who would be cast to play you both, and what musical artist would be featured on the soundtrack? Wow, that's a great question. If our wedding was a movie, who would be cast to play? Well, hey, everybody out there, while they're thinking, we're going to answer one question from the audience. So if you have a question for Taisha or Akeem or Taisha and Akeem together, type it in. We're going to choose one of yours and we'll read it and they'll, they'll answer it later. So, Taisha. I'll tell you what. Um, <laughs> I took this makeup practicum class in college and we had to find celebrities who, like, we resemble. Okay. And the only person I ever found that was like Afro Latina that resembled me was Rosario Dawson. So I would say Rosario Dawson would play me. Nice, okay. nice, mm -hmm. nice. That tempts me to say Ray Allen just because they did a movie together. They, but but I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say, uh, ooh, Rosario Dawson. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Um, is it Woody Harris? Uh, he he was in uh, he was in the Wire, 
And he was in um Yeah, he was in the wire. It wouldn't be Bo King Woodbine. That's another one that comes up, but um I think it's Woody Harris. Okay. Woody Harris? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woody okay. Harris and Rosario Dawson. Yeah. Yeah. What like musical it. artists are on the soundtrack. What musical artists are on the soundtrack? Oh shoot. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Um, you know. It might be Trick Daddy. I knew you was gonna say that. It might I be on the loop. Oh, that. I, I, I can't. I can't lie to you. That's great. That's great. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna. We only have like five more minutes left. But uh, I mean, we gonna a little bit over. You know, yeah, we're a little bit. Okay. We're gonna do a rapid fire game. I'm gonna do a rapid fire game. You ready? No. So, Tasha, okay. Akeem, you have to. You can't think about it. You just have to answer it. Okay. And we can go back and forth. All right. Ready. Favorite food. <laughs> you didn't say who was going to answer first. Oh, it's my favorite food. There's That's so hard. many. That's hard. Ask us again. Ask us again. Just got to say word. Wait. Say word. You just, whatever comes to mind. You, this yeah. is the word. First, and then a key meditation. And a key meditation. Okay, okay. Here we go. Go. Favorite Ready? food. Uh, ribs. Okay. Well, uh, something you're watching. <laughs> Seinfeld. <laughs> Seinfeld. Okay. Best liquor. Hennessy. Uh, yeah, Hennessy, because I'm drinking it. All right. Barefoot or flip flops? Flip flops. Flip -flops. With socks. Flip flops with socks. Laughing or crying? Laughing. Laughing. Popeyes or eye pops? Popeyes, boy. Popeyes, boy. <laughs> Name something pink. Name something pink. Uh, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> a cute, a cute, a cute baby name. A what? A cute baby name. Uh, uh, Sandra. 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 Uh, a musical. A musical you like? Oh, in the heights. I don't really like musicals like that. <laughs> um, something about the other person that you love. Oh! <laughs> Taste is a sweetheart. Everything. Mm. <laughs> hey, Jaylene, do you want to do your game or do you want to do Florida versus New York City? Huh. I want to try to do one round of my game. Okay, okay. You really, really quick. Wait, 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 no wait, one is able, like, if, yeah. if the viewers even aren't yeah. able to they, go past. They want more of us. They want more of us. All right, let me. Let me, let me let me ask oh, the crowd. We just Here we go. Yeah, right. David, what's up, bro? Pank Papas. Pank Papas. If we go past 10, are y'all still going to be rocking with us? Now there's a delay, so we got to wait a second. Sure, sure. <laughs> if we go past 10, will you still be rocking with us? Yes. More. Okay. 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 All right. Here we go. They here. They here. They here with us. They here with us. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is my game. Now this game. Oh, Mama Pat. <laughs> Mama Pat's a boy Mama here. Oh, Pat said we want more. Yeah. This is a two. Oh, shout out my line brother. Hey, shout out my deuce dog. Which Kara, one? He's a man. Who's also getting married this Who's year. Who's also getting married. Hey, what's the name? Caleb. Caleb Fizame. There we go. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Shout out to my deuce doggy. Hopefully Ooh, my family's still around. This is the true pajama party. You know how you stay up to like 2 a.m. when you're in your pajama parties? That's right. All right, here we go. So here's my game. This is a game that I came up with with a friend, Jackie. Shout out to Jackie Keasley. We were like 13. We went to travel um, on the West Coast. We went to like Vegas and then we drove to Los Angeles. And in those long car rides, we came up with a song game. And I'm going to just call it where I left off. We didn't have a name back then, but it's going to be called Where I Left Off. So you sing a song, and the the, the word that you stop on, then the next person got to come up with a song that has that word in it. Lord Jesus. Okay. So, All right. here we go. 
This is a this game you want to play? This is the <laughs> game you play in the car. Now, a lot of people on YouTube do this game now, a version of it called Song Association. Terrell does it. I love Terrell. Um, and you give them a word and they come up with a song. So this is kind of like this, but the power is in the, the hand of the person that goes before you on, as to yeah. what order they pop on. Yeah. All right. So yeah. since we are on Papa Pink, I feel like I should start with a Pink song. Um. How how to how her? So you say you wanna talk? I don't. If you wanna turn her on, yeah, it's like that. You gotta do this. Wait now, back now. What? What you think about that? Now, when I say I'm through, I'm through. Basically, I'm through with you. What you wanna say? How to have it your way? How to play games? Now you begging me to stay. There you go. Go. So the next song has to start with go. It yep. doesn't have to start. It just has to have go in give the Give me song. the green light. Give me just one night. I'm ready to go, go. right now. I'm ready to go right now. Every night. <laughs> give me the green light. I'm ready to go right now. Go. I'm ready to go right now. Now. Justin. Oh, shh. Now, here's the story all about <laughs> now. My life got flipped upside down. 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 Oh, it's Akeem. Down. Down? Down. Down, down, baby. <laughs> I got that boom boom pow. I'm so three thousand and eight. You so two thousand and late. Wow. I said, boom, 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 boom. That future boom, boom, boom. Let me hear now. Boom, boom, boom. Let me get that boom, boom, boom. Let me get that boom, boom, boom. Let me get that boom. Should I do boom? Late. Because of late, sure. Late. You still 3,008. You still 2,000 and late. Late. Show late. late for our that's sound shot. check. That, that, that's late. That's shot from right there. I know that's shade. That's shade. Late. late, late, late. Anything with lately? Lately. We'll take lately. Oh, have I told you I love you? No, that is it. Lately? Something. <laughs> is it baby or lately? Oh. Have I told you I love you late? I thought it was lately. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Late. That's late. where we. That's that's where it ends. I think. Okay. <laughs> Someone out there, tell me: Is it? Have I told you I love you lately, or is it, baby? <laughs> this game is so I feel like you're successful round. <laughs> okay, we got one more game. We got one more game. Okay, okay. I want to play more of that game, so y'all just have to come back and. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it. We'll okay. What's what? But the last game. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. This is called Florida versus NYC, right? So I think all of us have to agree and we have to talk it out. And I've got a few uh, few different things. So Florida, we know. few different categories. Florida or New York City? Who has crazier people? Florida. Florida. New York City. New York City. Why does, tell us why, why New York City, why Florida has Crazier people. Florida, man. Zombies. Um, what the man ate it? the face off of somebody else. Like, That's uh, up in New York on the subway right now. That's happening right now. You never hear no story about someone eating someone's face on the subway. Because it's too many stories like that in yes, New York. It, New York is, yes, it's, we're crazy, but we're not as crazy as Florida, man. It only stand out because it, it's, it's like, in a like a no an exception situation. Yeah, Florida as a state is mad long. It's mad long, but New New York City got too many people in it. It's all compact. It's all compact in there. We're not gonna agree. Next. Okay, who has who has better food? <laughs> Wait, did you concede? Akeem, did you concede? Now let me say this. Yeah, let me say this. We have Miami. 
We yeah, have, yeah. We have yeah. Miami. We yeah. have Miami. We have Miami. What you gotta say? This is what you gotta say, Justin. That that New York is it's a cosmopolitan city. It's the top city in the world. So you know, Florida got. Yeah, I feel like there. what what Florida does, but you can't get better cum salad in New York than in Miami. You can't get better cum fritters in New York than Miami. You can't get you know like so. You know, you probably can't get better soul food. In we in New the, York City, we are the South. That is the South. But there, but there are people there who are, are from the South. There are people who have moved to New York. There are people, and there is soul food there. I let me say this: when I have had my soul food in New York, it is not. It is. It Where is not went? going Where you away. Went? Where you went? Exactly. Where you went. Rabbi, you from Florida, Rabbi. <laughs> That's right, Rabbi. Let's go. You haven't had seafood until you've been in Florida. It is literally surrounded by ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna say New York, though. New York on a on a, on a larger scale. New York got it. okay. New York, okay. New York, you got it. Well, who has better weather? Who has better weather? Well, now, is that a question? Yeah, is that a real question? Is that a question? Who has better beaches? Is that a yeah, question? You got it. You got it. Okay, okay. I just needed one. I just needed one for us. I mean, but listen, weather and beaches, they make up for like 80% of what your life is. Listen, that our beaches do get it popping too. Oh, right. Oh. Wait, this, leads, this, is, this kind of links to my next question of where is better to vacation? Oh, if you rich... Probably, probably New York, but it's four of us talking. Ain't none of us rich, so we having a better time in Florida. <laughs> I'm rich in spirit. I'm rich in spirit. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You're wealthy. You're I wealthy. Right there. Yeah. I, if, yeah. I was, yeah. if I was rolling in the dough and I had a penthouse in New York City and a chauffeur, and couldn't stop me. Oh, couldn't stop me. You don't even need all that though, because in New York, you can, if you want to get to a beach, okay, you can get to a beach, but then uh -huh. you can also still like party and be out and like stuff is not closed at like. Uh -huh. yeah. We talking about Miami? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. We talking about where they live. We go to Miami and, and live a great wait, life. Wait, wait. So we talking about Miami? We talking about Florida? Because it we was talking about Florida, but Miami helps us. But Miami helps us. We talking about if we say New York, y'all talking Orlando. about New York City. If we were in Orlando, you we got at Disney World. What's the you people got, Disney? <laughs> Disney doesn't scream. I'm telling you, I'm saying yeah, sparkling and shining. All right, who has better musical artists? Oh, <laughs> it's got to be New York. Yeah, yeah right? I'm gonna say New York. It's got to be New York. The it's birth of hip hop. It's the birth be of hip hop. I actually think it depends on genre because if yes, I agree. Hip hop, you're gonna go to New York, but if you want pop, you've got to go to Florida. There what? was a heyday in Florida when all the studios, all the pops, and this is where NSYNC came from, and Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake, Backstreet Boys. Well, well, shout out to the shout out to the Mickey Mouse Club, <laughs> Mickey Mouse Club. But New York still got that. What's the next question? Okay, yeah. the last one. this is my last one. Oh, we have more swag. Who oh, got more on. swag? Come on, come on. This is, but come on, though. Come, come on. That's hard. Come on. That's hard, though. <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. Come on. That's hard. Come on. That's hard. <laughs> Well, I'm leaving that as a toss-up. I, I think it depends on what you're looking for. It depends on where you go. Okay. Where you're at. Cause for for every New York, there's a there's a Albany. For every what? New York City, there's an Albany, and for every Miami, there's a nice town. So it's this is my favorite quote of the night. For every New York, there's an Albany. For every Miami, there's a night town. Nice town. Shout out to all our paying poppers in Albany and, and nice town. <laughs> no disrespect. No disrespect. <laughs> hey, Jaylene, do we have a question from the audience for that? Oh, shoot. I forgot the question. That's what, that's what you yeah. should be looking Okay, well, then I, my true last one was who was sexier, New York City or Florida? Oh, that's Florida. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, out. You got beaches. You got, yeah, out, out. Panama City, Florida. Jacksonville Beach. The Panhandle, Miami Beach. 
I mean, this this might be. We got like the sports ones, jeans, and white tees. That's sexy. And, and an NY fitted. All right. Chase just claimed the early 2000s as sexy. <laughs> She just claimed the whole, uh, uh, all of Nelly videos as sexy. And Nelly not from New York. Listen, listen. When it comes to fashion and all of that, who are you looking at? New York, New right. York. Subway looks great. All, oh, what? All, right. all of that is Most. transplanted, though. New, New no, York. that's not true. People like coming down. You, got, you born with that swag. Yeah, like, it's, it's, like it's in the water. It's in the water. Oh my God. So mm -hmm. mid this mid December, and y'all got that the only thing exposed is your eyes, so you can see where you're going. Yeah, but you swear you you're fitted coat and your and your, your 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 scarf and your beanie That's and your Tim's. That's, not, right? That's nothing like flip-flops and Bermuda shorts what? and Top. That's nothing like that. Come on, Justin. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. This is this is an amazing conversation. We we're, I'm gonna I saw one question. Everybody has been talking going off in the comments about New York, but if I scroll back <laughs> about New York and Florida, like it's a whole battle in the comments. Yeah, like, yeah, it's a yeah. Battle. If I scroll up, which is not letting me scroll all the way up, dang. Okay. Well, you, you remember know. the idea, the like what what it was kind of about? Yes, it was from Erlina. Um, I don't see it anymore, so I can't put you up on the screen, Erlina, but it says something about um being that we're you're on quarantine and kind of forced to be in the house with each other all the time. What's something that you've learned about the other person? Oh, yes, Erlina. Good question. Sorry, I can't it. Wow. What have you learned? Wow. What have you learned? You know, my, when I, I call, because we're doing the wedding invitations and such, and I called my uncle to make sure I had my aunt's name right, his wife's, his wife's name. And so we we talked, and my my uncle called it intense fellowship, um, <laughs> and uh, and we think that's great, you know. But we also feel blessed that we not, you know, a lot of people were saying that, that they are like learning about each other and and um, and getting to know each other. But we we've had some really full. It'll be five years in July, mm -hmm. so we know each other pretty well. Um, I mean, I don't. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I think we, we, I mean, if anything, we just enjoy each other. That's like something to learn. Cause I mean, I wouldn't say that we're stuck together. <laughs> it doesn't feel like we're stuck. Right. Um, and, and we just bought this home in November. So it's been great to have to be forced to sit here yeah. in our new home. Um, I'll well, say I mean, I'll say it's been small things. You know, like when when the let's make a deal thing started <laughs> two weeks ago, <laughs> it, it took me. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't I didn't know Cinnamon Toast Crunch was this a big this big of a deal for her. But now that I know, <laughs> let's get two boxes every time we shop. I don't I don't you know. So, so it's it's little things like that, you know. I love that. That's awesome. That's that is awesome. Listen, y'all. We are so thankful to have had you all here today. It has been an amazing time. I want to continue talking, which means we just have to bring you back. And we're gonna yes. start. Please. We're gonna Please. start off with the with the where I left off game because it was getting Ooh. intense and I, I I liked it. Um <laughs> but something that Justin and I do whenever we end the show, um, we do uh our our pank freestyles. Yeah, and I heard you did some freestyle rapping with Lawrence. Um, so we'd love for you to just do some, uh, and I, I, I love being invited to that. Um, I'd love for you to do some uh, pink freestyle for us. So um, I'm going to give a subject to I take have you. And I'm listen, you. I'm Justin, give you. What? Justin, I'm tapping oh you. Um, considering we're at the end of the episode, we're just going to do ours as well. So right. we're going to yeah. give them a subject and they're going to have to give us a subject. We're going to do our freestyles and we're going to peace on out. Okay. So, okay. So I'm going to go Taisha. Taisha, uh, no. because, because it's our pajama episode, you're going to freestyle about dreaming. Go. 
dreaming. I'm California dreaming. Nice. And I'm wondering where I'm going to get this cream in. Ooh. The money. That's <laughs> all I want. Wrap it up, wrap it up. <laughs> That's all I want. Uh, I'm gonna get all this cash and I'm gonna stun. I'm gonna get all this cash and I'm gonna stun. Boom! You gave me four of the hardest. You gave me four of the hardest. What I call that is having your woman's back, okay? Yeah, That's right. marriage right, right there. there. Right he saw her floundering. She was looking for a thing, and he stepped in, okay? He yeah, stepped yeah, right yeah. in there. Yeah. Him, and they came together, and they created Straight a beautiful up. fit. So up. That That's a goal. That's a keeper. <laughs> Give Akeem his, his props. Since you want to talk about it so much, Florida is your Ooh. topic. Oh, oh man. The last time I was in Florida, I went straight to the beach. Hey. In my rental Mustang, I heard the tires go screech. <laughs> but I got to make sure I stop at Kunk Heaven to get some Kunk salad. Oh. That would be good enough to make your boy sing a ballad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that feels so good. That felt so good. Akeem, give me mine. I'm ready. I'm ready. This is gonna be gold. Oh, 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 let, let's let's keep it on the regional theme. Orlando. I got Mickey in my soul. He be saying, ho, ho, ho. Come to my land, ride my rides, eat my ice cream, take a, ride the slides. <laughs> Every time I think of Orlando, I think sunshine and laughter. Don't mess with me, cause I'll come after you after. Oh, you had it! You had it! <laughs> you had it! That was great, Justin. It was a coda. That's what they call in the literary world as a coda. It's like they're at the end. All right, right. Taisha, give Jaylene to wrap it up. Always get so anxious for this. No, 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 let's do one, two, fifth. Oh, Lord. That's an alley -oop. Yo, I'm from Harlem. Oh. I be on one, two, fifth. Yo, that <laughs> in New York, that's where me and my sis from. That's where you not dumb. You <laughs> is special. I'm going uh, to give you these bars and bless you. Nice, <laughs> nice. Because I'm from Harlem. We do the Harlem shake. Hey. I'm going to stop hitting you with this flow. It's too hot. You need a break. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, what a way to take us out, Jaylene. Oh, we were in the jungle on that one. I was, I was like, you bought us out, bro. You bought us out. <laughs> I think we won that one. <laughs> you you dug us out there. So we're at the end of the episode, and we love to end with that. And uh, I have one nice proverb, and that is, if at first you don't succeed, buy a new outfit. There you go. Right. Our nice. JJ Proverbs. Thank you once again to Akeem Davis and Tasha Marie Canales. Let's give it up for them. Show them the and this thank you great. all. We'll wait a second for them to come up. But we just, we thank you so much. Please go and follow them um, on the Instagram. Oh my God. There. Um, we, we really enjoyed y'all. We love you. Um, it's, it's, it's been a great episode. We've had family in the building. We've yeah. had so many different people up in yeah. here. The reason why there's so many people up in here is because so many people love y'all. Like this is because y'all are here and um, you have such a great community. We can't wait to celebrate with you all later this year when y'all get married. We believe it ain't nothing gonna stop that. No, no. Can, I, can I say something? Can I say something? Say something. You just, this just yeah. popped up. Well, well. You you thinking what I'm thinking? No, no you're not thinking what I'm thinking. <laughs> Does Papa Pink want to do a live show from the reception? Oh, interesting! Uh, Look at that, y'all. Do y'all chew on that? 
Y'all chew on that. Y'all chew on that. That was already happening before you even asked. I mean, that would be epic. All the people that's yeah. in the comments gonna be live. There'll be live guests there. Listen, we was already gonna be making episodes, so <laughs> you might as well. Now that we're getting paid for it, sure. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Papa Pank live from the Tasha and Akeem wedding. We cannot wait. We thank you so much. Yes, yes. We had so many viewers. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Shout out Danielle. Y'all, we have never had this many. This, listen, we've never gone for this long. Okay. And we thank y'all for sticking around. We love yes. you. Oh. We thank you. Um. And on that note, you know what, y'all, y'all might as well just stick around while we play our little outro. Cause y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll say you're here. You know, and just, just Justin, say something while I get the music queued up. No, nope, never mind. I want to thank everybody again. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Catch us next week. We're gonna have another special guest in the coming week. We don't know who it is. It's gonna be a surprise. And uh, we thank you so much. Follow us on uh, our all of our social media, Instagram. <laughs> thank you we love you we we are so appreciative of you all um this has been an amazing episode once again you're listening to the tunes of ill dudes we encourage you all to go ahead and subscribe to our youtube follow us on instagram ill dudes playing at our wedding Subscribe. Yes, there we go. Bill Dudes is playing at the wedding. We've just had such a great time with you all. Like, this has been awesome. It's been so much fun. Yeah, um, yeah. And follow we are, we are, this is dope. Really dope. I'm so proud of the both of you that Papa Pink has become a thing. Papa Pink is a thing. And let me tell you yeah. something. Let me tell you something. Are we, are, we, are, are the credits rolling? They the are. credits are rolling, but you got it. Go ahead. Well, you know, it's one thing to have special guests. And we and we Hello. Know, we happen to be special guests. <laughs> but it's also another thing to have chemistry. Y'all got great chemistry. Y'all run a great program. You know, this the the the, the sky is the roof, as Michael Jordan would say. You know. Mm. So 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 we, we root y'all. And on there ain't nothing else to say after that. With yeah. that, on that note, we give you our outro music. Bye. 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 Bye.